Hello, I'm Glenn Van Zutphen, the founder and CEO of Van Media Group. People often ask me how they should move when they are giving a keynote speech or a presentation. Depending on the size of the room, of course, you may have a big stage or you may just be in a conference room type scenario. Let me give you a brief story uh, as an illustration point. Recently, I was at a professional speaking conference and a speaker who has many years of experience paced back and forth, back and forth, without any real purpose at all or connection to the talk that they were giving. And quite honestly, it was distracting. It looked like a, a caged tiger in the zoo. Try not to do that. Instead, when you come on stage, if you're not standing at a podium, find a spot that you are comfortable in the middle of the stage. Plant yourself there and own that particular spot. Of course, it's fine to move a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right if you need to, but basically you are always going to come back to that home position on the stage. If your comments have some sort of a time element to it, for example, if you're talking about your company's past, present, and future, you can use a linear timeline on the stage. If it's a big stage, you can walk quite a bit. You can start over here and talk about the past. Then you can come here and talk about the present. And then you can come here and talk about the future, for example. These are just a couple of the tips that professional speakers use to connect their messages with the audience's visual brain and their visual approach to what they see the speaker do on stage. As always, we hope that your communication will be confident, credible, and clear.